Summertime in Antarctica, Signy Island. It's not the easiest place to try and work. So Signy Island is bang in the middle of the Southern Ocean. Um, if you set sail, you won't hit anything else until you come back to Signy Island in the opposite direction. So it's in the full force of all of those Antarctic winds. It can be pretty chilly, um, but ultimately, even on a, a bad day, it's stunning. But Signy Island is changing, and it's all our fault, thanks to a 1960s biology experiment where scientists tried growing plants that originally came from the island of South Georgia. But what we didn't realise at the time was that there was this microscopic larvae in the soil of the plants, um, and we accidentally moved it to this island in Antarctica, and it survived there ever since. So it's effectively doing the job of an earthworm in an ecosystem that's never had an earthworm in it or anything like it. Despite its size, Eretmoptera is having a huge impact, chewing through the peat and producing lots of nitrogen, and that's altering the peaty soil on the island. This research shows these tiny bugs have the same impact as an entire colony of elephant seals. And this is one of hundreds of soil samples that have been brought back to the University of Birmingham from Antarctica, some 30 kilograms of soil in total. And at the end of the experiment, it'll all be destroyed safely because you don't want to bring any invasive species from Antarctica back here. For now, the problem is contained. And what happened here will also teach us much about our own delicate ecosystems back home in this country too. David Gregory Kumar, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Amazing.